Hi everyone, I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, hit that subscription button down below and the notification bell for updates on our next videos. Um, so today is actually a very nice day. We've got nice sunshine, blue skies. It's a little windy, but it's supposed to be in the 60s today. So I thought I would do a video on Joe. He's our pack goat, and I haven't really shown you guys much of him because it's been too cold. I don't take him out in the winter time. Um, but now that it's getting warmer and we're going to be starting to forage soon. So uh, with the weather the way it is, my hair is a mess. <laughs> it's all windy. Um, but we're going to start foraging. So I want to get him out there and we're going to go see if there's by chance any mushrooms popping in our area. Um, now we do collect morel mushrooms, lobster mushrooms, um, Caesars, occasionally oysters. We only go after stuff that we know for sure we can't mistake for anything bad that's going to make us sick. <clears throat> um, and no, we do not go after hallucinogenics. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you kind of our gear that we've got for our pack coat. And uh, I only have one right now. He's not even fully developed yet. He's only two years old. Um, but so he can't really pack a lot of weight. He could probably pack about 10 pounds right now and it's not going to affect him. So because we go after a forage, it's not that heavy, so he can carry a little bit out. So uh, let me go ahead and get a hold of him, and I'll show you what we're doing. Joe! Joe, come on! I think he's over there eating. Oh, there he is. Hey, Joe! What you doing, bud? Huh? What are you doing? You want to go hiking today? <laughs> Thor, you bothering Joe, huh? <laughs> Come here, Joe. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Joe, are you going to be a turd today? <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't want to go, but it's because I don't have another pack goat to go with him. Um, now, I do have some good news. If you guys remember some of my previous videos about Clyde, um, he was one of our new additions that ended up going back to his original owner because the females that came with him were positive for CAE and she didn't want to split up the herd, which I understand. Um, but she is allowing me to still take him out on hikes. So I'm able to call her and, you know, tell her that I'd like to take him out and she's going to allow me to do that. <clears throat> but, uh, I didn't really think I was going to go out today, so I didn't give her a call to let her know that I would like to use him. But we're just kind of going to check things out and see um, if we're even having anything growing right now. So uh, it might be a really quick trip. It may be a long trip. So we're just going to see kind of what's going on. But let me get a hold of Joe here. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's going to be a turd today. It's because I'm carrying his outfit here. And he knows what that means. And some days he loves it, but like I said, he doesn't like to go by himself because it's lonely, and I understand. And Chewy is not weaned from his mother, so he can't go yet. So, anyway, let me get a hold of him, and then we'll get him set up. All right, so we got Joe, and uh, so we're going to put his vest on him real quick. All right, so I'll kind of give you guys the reasons we do this. <clears throat> this is just me personally. Now, I put a vest on him. I bought the vest. It's a dog vest. 
and then I added all the extra straps to it. And the reason I did that, a couple things. We like to have something that's reflective on our goats. That way hunters don't shoot them. So he always wears his reflective orange color, which I'm obviously going to need to replace. I do have another one in the house. But I added all these extra straps because when he real wears a real saddle pack, it has all those straps. So this kind of gets him used to all the different straps on his body. And then when we do put a saddle pack on him, he won't be freaked out because there's something new touching him. <laughs> so this just kind of gets him prepared. Okay, come on, buddy. Now, so the way Joe is, he can be stubborn, as you can see. Um, because, like I said, he does not like to go by himself. So that's why I put the halter on his face. Because I'll switch my um, lead here to his halter. And that way he can't fight me. And I'm also not choking him that way. So we're going to get him loaded up in the car. And we'll go out to the woods. Alright, so we're out in the woods. We're only about five miles from my house. And you can see that there's still quite a bit of snow up on the mountains. Which is good. We've had a lot of moisture this year. This winter and early spring. And uh, we're actually expecting more possible snow tomorrow and the next day so definitely liking all the moisture um, we're gonna stay below the snow but we're gonna get up into the mountains over there and see what we can find We've got Joe in the back. Yes, we travel in my Jeep. Um, I'm actually, I have a tarp down with some hay. That'll soak up anything if he urinates or goes to the bathroom. Um, but I plan to actually build a stall, if you will, uh, for him in the back of my Jeep. That way, you know, we have a floor. I'm gonna build it directly to the size of the back of my Jeep. I don't tend to have passengers unless it's right next to me, but I don't typically have people in the back of my Jeep. It's mainly for the goats. So I'm gonna build a stall that's big enough when I put all the seats down back there and make it to where it's got walls so that way uh, it just kind of keeps the mess in there and it's easily cleaned. All right, you ready, bud? Usually when we get out, he'll go pee and try not to do it in my car. But it depends how long we're in the car. So we just saw those elk just a minute ago. The other ones that we saw were down lower before we got up into the tree line. There we go. He's at least pooping. <laughs> All right. So first off, I would like to mention that because I go out in the woods by myself and with a prey animal, I make sure to always carry. Um, you never know when 
you know, I've seen bears and lions and things out here, so I always make sure to carry just in case we're getting stalked or whatever. Oh, now he's peeing. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to look for the morels out here. Um, I am still lower. It's quite warm out today. Uh, the ground is very wet, which is great. Um, so the morels tend to be um, kind of north-facing slopes. That way they just get a little bit of sun in the morning and evening. They don't get that really hot um, midday sun. And uh, also up here where we are, we tend to get the black morels, the fire morels. So I came to where we had a fire uh, in the fall. And so we're going to check it out and see if there's anything growing. Well, we're not really seeing anything out here. Um, I've never checked this spot for morels. It's not my typical spot, but it's out of the snow. That's why I thought I would check it out. So we're going to continue down the road and see what we might find. All right, so we're going to try this new spot. And if I don't find anything here, I'm just going to assume it's a little early. But um, all right, so the morels tend to like the burn areas where we live. Um, we don't have all the cottonwoods and creeks and rivers because we're too high up for the blonde morels. But uh, so here's a good burnt area, but there's still a lot of cover. Um, so we're going to check this out over here. We've been kind of scouring around and I'm still not seeing anything. I think it's still a little bit too early. So we'll probably try again. If it warms up next week, we'll try then because we are supposed to get some moisture this week and it's going to cool off. And then it, I think it's supposed to warm back up and get even warmer than it has been. So that might be what we need. Um, so anyway, um, at least kind of now you see what we're doing with Joe and uh, he's hiding behind me. <laughs> But, um, so he is still in training. You don't typically pack a, a full amount on a goat until they are around four years old. That's when they're done, their body's done growing, so you aren't going to screw up their back. Um, a couple things I did want to talk about. Well, I did mention uh, a little bit of safety. I do keep a gun on me. Also, because it is windy and we're walking around burnt areas, I do watch the trees. I don't want to hang around a dead tree in case the wind blows hard enough it could fall so I do kind of watch for that as well um, even though we are looking at the ground looking for mushrooms I still on occasion I look up make sure that I know that there's nothing following us or you know also I don't get lost um, so anyway I just make sure I keep my phone on me just in case anything happens I have a way to get a hold of somebody 
So anyway, um, we did get our package in the mail that I mentioned before. So I'll, I'll be doing a video on that. So definitely keep an eye out for it. I'm very excited about it. Um, and so we're going to head home and we'll see you guys next time.